Hey, loved ones. What's going on? I hope everything's going well on your side of the camera. Things are going okay on mine. Um, I was literally about to quit this entire journey. And... Um, I felt such a burden uh, about this journey, about documenting the journey and so many things about it. Um, I feel like I'm supposed to be doing this, oddly. I don't know. I'm in a weird space with this journey. Um, the Lord has literally been working on my inside um, so much and my outside doesn't really look like the work that I've done on the inside, but I'm realizing on this walk, um, on the Christian walk in general, like your mental space has to be there. Your mind has to be aligned with his thoughts, his feelings, his desires. Um, like even the scripture that says, um, he will give you the desires of, our, of your heart. But the beginning of that says, delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. So there's like pruning and things that he has to do first in order for things to start manifesting on the outside sometimes. I mean, you think about how a plant grows. A lot of stuff is happening underground before it actually blossoms into a plant um, on the outside, on the part that everybody can see. And I literally feel like I've been developing so much intimacy with the Lord lately. Um, understanding his character, who he is. And I said I invited him on this journey. And it's like, well, in order to fully invite him on this journey, you got to get to know who he is. You know, um, I really just didn't want to make this video. Like, I just didn't. Um, I'm just like in a weird space right now. But I need to make it so I can um, let you all know where I'm at. Let y'all know that I'm still on the journey. Let myself know that I'm still on the journey. Um, anyway, uh, this morning and this past month, the month of June, God has really been working on me with rest. I'm super busy. Um, such a busy person, busy with work, busy with life. Just, I love being busy and he's teaching me how to get to a place of rest, to rest in him and rest in just life in general, understanding what it means to live a life of ease and not stress. Um, my sister says something very, um, deep to me. People have said this before, but some reason when she said it, it kind of hit, um, she was like, oh, Kyra strives off the stress. I was like, dang, I thrive off stress? That's crazy. That's what I meant to say. She thrives off stress. And I have been for so long. And I feel like that's affected my eating habits. It's affected my mental space. It's affected so much stuff. By me being in a place of stress, that means I wasn't able to really... Um, Rest in the Lord. Because if you're stressed, you can't rest. That's just not, they just don't even go together. Um, and I just wanted to make this video to um, talk about uh, Psalms 23. Um, and if you guys are on this journey with me, literally inviting the Lord into this journey has to do with rest as well. Um, I didn't realize how important rest was. And I'm not saying sleep. He tells us not to love sleep. But sometimes when you're resting, you do need to sleep. But in this case, it's more of like coming from a place of like not busy. So like I know the story about um, Mary and Martha. Martha, Jesus had, Jesus had come to their house and Martha was trying to get things done. Da, 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 and Mary was just at the Lord's feet at Jesus's feet. And she was like, Martha was like, Jesus, you're not going to tell my sister to help me. Like I'm trying to get stuff prepared. And Mary's over here laying at your feet. And he's like, I actually 
Mary is doing what she needs to be doing right now. Like she's at my feet. And I'm not saying there's not a time to be busy because there definitely is a time to um, be Martha as well. But in this space that I'm in, I feel like he's taking me out of myself because if he's literally supposed to be the strength in my weakness, if I never reveal my weakness, how will he ever show me his strength? And that's the space I'm in right now. So um, I was studying uh, Psalms 23, um, just verse one through three, and it kind of spoke to me in a different way than it has um, in the past. You know, it's the living word. So you get a little bit some different every time. Um, but I'm going to read it and then we'll just go from there. Um, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me lie in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. Um, he leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. He broke this verse down to me very differently uh, than I'm used to. So I'm just going to tell you guys what I got from it. Maybe it'll bless you. Maybe it won't. Whatever. But uh, this is just, like I said, this is my journey. As you see, my name has changed. Miss Whitney's walk. This is literally my walk. Um, but I just want to share what uh, I received and what I felt like the Lord revealed to me because I thought it was super eye-opening for me entering into a space of rest and actually establishing ground there, um, establishing placement there and um, all of that. Anyway, okay, so the first part of the verse says, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Um, first of all, I think the top part of this verse about saying, who the Lord is to me, like he's my shepherd. And to me, what this brings is he cares for me. He protects me from harm. He makes sure I have everything I need. He protects me from the small things. And there, there was a, there was some story about how um, the shepherd used to put like oil or something on um, the sheep's ears to keep the flies away. So I said, even the small things, he protects me from the small things. Um, so I, I definitely need to rest in that because that's what I would trip off of the, the small things. I trip off the small stuff. Um, it also says, um, he gives me direction. He feeds me. Um, and he loves me. He genuinely loves me because every shepherd loves their sheep. Um, it's literally their job. It's literally something that, um, you have to enjoy doing i would assume being a, a shepherd because sheeps wander they they are just not the smartest animals anyway but um then i, I broke down want uh, i shall not want um this really hit me very differently um one is no worrying no stressing no begging okay we have never seen the righteous begging for bread or forsaken um i have and i have everything that i need a lot of times i try to make stuff happen for myself uh make stuff move and shake and shift and literally the lord is like hey let's just rest in this season let me do some work let me do some tilling you keep moving your feet you know keep doing what i'm telling you to do but first let's see me as a shepherd let's see me as who i am in your life put me in the right position so that you can play the right part um and then so the next part is he makes me lay down in green pastures and leaves me beside the still waters this part um i don't know it was very different when i read it this time as well uh the part it says he makes me like i feel like that word is very intentional like he literally he makes me do it like hey girl time to relax time to find some rest time to find some peace time to get some chill like, I feel like that's what he's telling me in this space right now. Um, and when I think of laying down in green pastures, when you think of like green, any type of greenery, you think of life, liveliness, um, a thriving environment, a thriving ecosystem, like it's life there. And um, I feel like that brings about newness as well. Um, so it says what I wrote here, he gives me rest. He gives me a calmness. He gives me peace. I can, I literally felt like I could see myself walking, um, joyful beside still waters. Um, he clears my mind. 
of chaos and worry. He places me in a thriving environment, like I just said with the green. Um, when, yeah, I'm just basically saying when I'm in like, when I think about green, I think about like thriving environment. So he'll put me also in a thriving environment, even in a place of rest. It's not something I have to like do too much work for. Um, it's something that he's working on with me, which is so awesome. Um, and then the next part is he restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his namesake. That part really hit as well. Um, so I said this, this walk I'm on has nothing to do with me, but everything to do with him um, and his namesake. Since I'm God's child, he will take care of me, guide me, give me rest, a place, place me in a thriving environment and where I can still be at rest. Um, and when I'm depleted, he will restore my soul and then lead me in the path of righteousness, the paths of righteousness. Um, so this is this was just such a beautiful um, time to read this in my life because I really feel overwhelmed sometimes. I'm like, I don't know where I'm supposed to be. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. There's so many things I could be doing. And I'm definitely in a place where something is not planned. Things are just not planned right now, which is a good thing for God. I'm sure he's super happy about that. But for me, I'm low-key kind of freaking out. I'm like, Lord, what's the plan? What's the plan? What's the plan? What's the plan? And I just keep asking that. And earlier this month, I heard him tell me like, it's time to be like Mary. Time to be like Mary. I kept hearing him say that. I'm like, Lord, what? And I read the story and I was like, okay, you want me to sit at your feet? Okay, great. And then I was listening to um, this prophetic work and it was talking about it being halftime. Halftime is where you sit, you have a moment, you go into the locker rooms, you restart, you strategize, you do all the things, um, but you take a break, you rest. And then he gave me Psalms 23 this morning. So clearly he's telling me to rest um, because I literally have been, I've been doing this journey with him, but I've also been trying to figure out the quickest way. And I have to be honest with myself, since I'm not taking medicine, since I'm not doing the quick fixes, since I'm not um, doing something that is just going to last for a moment, it's going to last for a lifetime, it's going to take time for me to get there. So I pray that you all be patient with me as I get here, as I go through these things. Um, and I pray that I'm patient with myself because I'm so used to taking weight loss medicines and things just dropping like that and things just coming off quick. But he's literally working on my mind, my mental space, what I believe, my beliefs, my feelings of myself and so many different things that impact why I eat the way I have, um, why I do the things I do, why I um, just why I am who I am and um, kind of he's in a place of also pruning the things that I've picked up along the way. I feel like I've been like a magnet and he's literally had to pull things away that actually don't belong to me. So it's been a journey lately. Um, I did lose 14 pounds from the top of the year to about now. Um, that's not a lot. Um, but it was literally because I was eating what he, you know, said for me to eat and all of those things. But um, he's helping me develop boundaries around my stress and helping me not stress. So it's like he's peeling me back like an onion, I guess the best way to uh, look at that. So please be patient with me. I am about to start back posting. Um, and this is not a get rich quick or get slim quick. Um channel so if you're looking for that please uh go subscribe elsewhere there's so much content out there um but if you're on this journey that i am with the lord really trying to get understanding of who you are whose you are and where he wants you to be um please continue watching right now he has me cleaning out my gut um and getting my microbiome together i'll make another video about that later on but that's where I'm at with that right now. Um, I just wanted to do a quick check-in and tell you guys that I'm trying to find rest uh, in this space I'm in because stress is no longer working for me.
and I know what the Lord wants for me and for me to really obtain what he wants for me, I have to submit to his ways. I have to submit to his plan. I have to submit to him. I literally have to take every thought captive and submit it underneath the authority of Jesus Christ. Like that literally has been my thing lately. Um, and putting on the armor of God, like literally putting on his character, dressing myself with his character has been the thing I've been working on lately as well. So with that being said, Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Um, don't forget to like, uh, comment, and subscribe if you want. Um, see you guys in the next one. Love you.